What's up everybody, my name is John Franco and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we solved some troubles. Oh, the red guy is gone. We solved some troubles and... Uh, we got Miss Mouse to join us. So now what we're going to do is get some clues on the harbor to see if we can get to Kill Hall Key. What? Kill Hall Key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I've heard. Not long ago, ships after ship went there hunting treasures, but none ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys were dumb. Ooh. Oh, they're searching for the One Piece? Kill Hall Key? You mean the island where the treasure Horde of Cortez, the Pirate King is hidden? Wait, I thought Gold Roger was the Pirate King. So you want treasure, eh? F fine, but keep an eye out for the Pirate Curse. Get ya. Kill Hall Key? That's that cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake! No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's got to be a way to just poof and get rich. You no, know, poof. Oh, you with a mustache. What's with the stinky eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an en encyclopedia. I am. I can answer anything. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sell too often though, mostly he hangs out at the pulpy joints on the plaza. Hey, that's a nice ship. Alright, so let's ask uh, Flavio if he can lend us his ship. Here, where a bomb on blowing up is like throwing a punch for a northern bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you gotta do it with perfect timing. My mom said that once you learn the timing, you're finding another bubble. Ah, oh, mom. Mean scram. Don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long lost love. Yes, I pick up the extra beauty at the shoe shop in Glitzville. No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid me the slightest attention. Lands on his and blue stashes belly. And this is the Skulto and my lucky charm of my family. I love you, sparkly thing. It is so fabulous, I wish to give it a great big kisses. It never leaves my sight, never. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is un unchained must always long for yet more? Ah, what is missing from my life? These tears at my very, at my very insides, I must know, what do I like? Probably thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah. I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain shivering to death. Ah, no, foolish Flavio. Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, hold the horses. That is it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me, a hunt for tr pirate treasure. Why, that just reeks, shrieks of romance and thrills and emotions and even money. Do you not know the tale, the pirate king's treasure hidden on Kill Hall Key? Ah, uh, well, tales say that the pirate king Cortez 
hid his horde of pirate booty here there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them ever returned. Oh, the horrors makes me makes my bag tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Kiyoko Ki. But that was not but that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes. And I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you say you are saying? You're also looking for a treasure here in Rockport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this double armed pit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now, what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map. Well, hand it over, rather. I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kiloki. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out of under me? You awful, awful man! Well, no, I'm confused. You're looking for things on that as the crystal stars. But now that I am thinking, a starship stone was said to be in Cortez's sword. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, oh, stop such talk, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to kill whole key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that? Flavio's ears are plugged. He you have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you'll be the captain. Ah, dangers and adventures. Come to my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Alright, I didn't want to speak to you. What about you? Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Bubbly's place. A humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, there is an inn officer when you're in. Okay, he just says the usual thing. So let's meet him. So that's how you're doing it. You and that mental Flavio, or rather, that dashing guy. Well, at any rate, be careful, that island is right nasty. Prepare yourself, eh? Right, fair weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect day to set sail, if I do say so. Ooh. Would you mind a bit if the whole journey blew it in fair as today? No, Siri Bob. Ah, yeah, so it is you. Ah, well, sadly. A slight problem seems to have pop popped up, but feast your eyes on this outrageous fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstances, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, uh, y yes, did you speak? Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. The problem is that that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitched me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman they steered ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Kiyohol Key 
are deathly dangerous. We need an absolutely skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Fabio. Mario is not moving. Heard you talking there, sir. Don't mind me saying, I have a solution. Do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of uh, fame. No, a legendary sailor living in Whirlpool. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he is said to have the Elsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Bassa boom! Problem solved! Let us scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye aye, sir. Aye aye, aye aye. Sounds fair. Good plan. Oh boy, sure thing. That's decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sells with you. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. Starboard ho! Port ho! Giant Master Blooper ho! I'm pushing my hoes! Sorry. I might as well tell you, my brother went to Kiyoki and never returned. I get woozy just think of it, but I've decided to work up my courage and sail there. I, I always dream of the day I'd leave this town. I don't care if there are pirates or ghosts or undead vampires. Where are we going? It's gotta be worlds better than this thing hole. At last, my dreams will come true. I'm gonna open my very own shop on Kiyohoki. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle, it'll be mine. I just have one slight worry. Kiyohoki is a desert accursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? And what about you? Uh, please to meet um, your acquaintance. <laughs> Yeah, what a mysterious guy. Uh, I didn't want to take you, Vivian. I love you, but we need our little man eater to go fast. So we need to find this Bobby fellow. Let's go ask this guy. You were here last time. I'm Rob Bobbery? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Alright. So, his house. Is this one right? It's locked. Well, Hitogi, go here and hello. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. It's probably Santa Claus. Alright, so we have access to the roof. The roof's here. We have this chimney. We have a shine sprite here. And is that it? I think that's it. If we go over there, we have this mister. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty. The Traveling Minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure spinning tales that spin senses. I know a few of the stories that surround their town of Rockport. If you like, I can share them with you. But it will require just a few coins. 
Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. So we have the fearsome demon, the crystal stars, the hero who arose, the wise Goomba, the stalwart Koopa, the four heroes, all became legends. So we have all of these. I'm not going to read them now. So we have this chimney. If we use our rolling ability. What do you blokes want? I'm a bobbery. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Not if you please. Drop the axe, super stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. <laughs> what, Poppycock? Tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea, never more. But that's just not cool. You wanna see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Kyofu Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Now, away with you. Just going to steal your shine sprite, okay? That's a nice room that you got there, Mr. Bobbery. Alright. Sorry for disturbing you. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. Can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Now what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, level up Miss Mouse. Shazibi. Shazubi. Then you may go. So Miss Mouse, oh, she can use tease now. M tease enemies with some sly moves, making them dizzy. Interesting. Okay. So, here, let's go back and speak with the bartender. You used to know him, right? You say Bobby won't go to see, huh? Well, I can't say that. I can't say that surprised me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobby back underwater? Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Kyoho Key. Rough seas out there. Most villagers will meet their end. Not all Bobbery though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's stare is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want to. Please do. I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery sales of woes go something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. The sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now Bobby was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained though, and always waited faithfully for Bobby's return. And Bobby, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So he lived in unhappiness, where they could and all was good for a time. 
Not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. It, it soon turned serious. Barry, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Barry, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not as at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thought. They tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to see, to see since. Why must Roman so often end in tragedy? Why? I see why he won't sell. You all know this his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? No, he suffered enough. In that case, let the miserable old soul be and make your way without him. Let's report back to Flavio. Poor guy. I just can't. I can't force him to do it. But I refuse help, Vixen, but it is not your job to solve this problem, hmm? Why don't you find some someone who knows Bobby and see what you can find it? So you really need Bobby, huh? Ah. I'm so sorry, Bobby. But Flavio is so selfish. You wish him to sell again, no matter what the cost to him, no matter what it takes. We have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. You got an old letter, the letter that Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hand. I don't know what's written inside. But I can tell you what she told me as she, w she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should have blamed himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was his la her last request. But now I saw Bobby, Bobby in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife. I, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted, every, regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobby. Thank you, Bodley. That had to hurt to hurt you to admit. We'll deliver the letter. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, this guy was, this guy was also kind of suffering. Uh, imagine. You have to give to your your friend that kind of letter like that. That'd be kind of hard to find, you know, the a good opportunity to do it. I don't know. What? Oh, my Blaverton's beard! Not you again! No matter how many times you you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon. A letter, you say? For, for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. I don't know why I turned finish there. Scarlet, my love. My love. If you're reading this letter, and I am no longer by your side, because fate has stepped between us, 
I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though, though you will mourn, I beg that you will remember that time, like love is a tide. You are one with, with the sea, as you were one with me. Don't lose both your lives, your lives low. Times like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Yes, love, I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you are looking for a navigator, I believe, one for Keyhole Key. <laughs> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove it, let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, excellent! The ship's in the harbor, huh? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Oh, he's fast for an old, for an old dude. We got an email. Tony, yoohoo! Hi Mario, how are you? I, uh, good, no, very good, no, great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the elder being mad at my brother, that's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometimes. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun, I'm jealous! Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise from Petuni. She... Did she lay an egg? What? All right. There's the man. I knew you would get Bobbery on board. You wonderful mustached man. You. To you, I must say, ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies, yes? Preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. Very well. To the sea. Raise the anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is dread. Keyhole key. Wait up. This X dot one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X dot one here. Over. Roger. Reading U five. Bye. Infiltration is successful. X dot black aboard vessel. Repeat, X dot black is on board of the vessel. <laughs> 